What's going on guys? I'm Matt Stryker and this is Ree's Retro Toys. On today's adventure, I'm heading to the Butler Area Toy Show in Lindora, Pennsylvania. This is my first time at this show and this is actually my first toy show of 2023. Super excited about it. I'm meeting my buddy Chad over there. I know um, a couple of my, my buddies are actually set up as vendors as well. Anyway, we got lots of toy hunting adventures coming to you uh, pretty soon, actually. In about 15 minutes, I'll be at the building. So I'll uh, meet Chad there and we'll, we'll get on in there. So uh, wish me luck and I hope I find some awesome vintage 80s goodies. See you soon. Who's here already? <laughs> here we are at the General Butler Vagabond Hall in Lindora. You guys recognize this guy, right? Hello, everyone. That's right, Mr. Celebrity. You think you're funny? <laughs> Look at this. Talk about service. Thank you, oh, buddy. it's done. Here we're, here's the building. So we see a very snowy morning here in western Pennsylvania. Not too bad. Could be worse. Yeah, I hit some treacherous roads there for a little bit, but... The way you drive, they're all treacherous. <laughs> I got that DC traffic vein in me. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, buddy? Thanks. How much I say? This where he's a virtue. I need that in the hole in my head, but mighty ducks. Mighty ducks. Hello. Yes, sir. Picking up an insane collection next week, dude. Like, like literally. Bobby from D and E. Bro, like literally. I mean, I, you, you probably don't need. It, it's all go. Uh -oh. <laughs> good, good collection. Dude, eight hundred pieces. I have more. Oh yeah. Blue grass. Pick them up. See, you had a gamer in More silver hawks here. Tender. You have those. Do you have him? I don't. Just needs his bird, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to keep him. I think he just needs his hat. Oh, missing an arm. I'm pretty sure you're not going to make me go look at my records. It's also very expensive. I was gonna say, yeah. It's pretty hard Pretty hard I'd probably pick up that bluegrass, but he's missing his hat. I don't know how hard that is to buy. I don't know, dude. But, uh, I was not expecting to see all those just sitting in the corner. Like that. <laughs> Especially with you looking for them, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to 
right there. Yeah, have you seen power boards? No. I just, I just I heard, heard Ron that. talking about yeah. them. And maybe we need to go check out his booth. I think we might be on to something. I literally do. With the five bucks, I got 25 bucks yeah. left. <laughs> the show ain't even open. <laughs> It's just as bad as Toys the Ages. I'll tell you what, this is a, this is a nice looking show. I'm really impressed. Stuff all come from mine. Did it? Yeah. I was going to say Air Raiders. I'm like, that's. I'm immediately reminded of you when I see Air Raiders. So I picked up a really excellent lot of Silver Hawks figures at this show. First up, I got this really nice condition Copper Kid. His action works, as you can see. And then he also came with his bird, Mayday. I got this from my buddy Rob, who actually kind of put this off to the side for me because he knew I needed him for my Silver Hawks collection. Then I got Stargazer. Unfortunately, he is missing Sly Bird but I just ordered him on eBay and he should be here shortly. And then I bought, I think one of the coolest looking silver hawks in the line is Flashback and his action also works. Very cool figure. I love the metallic green look on this figure. And then he also came with Backlash. So it was cool to add him to the collection as well. And then probably the most uncommon I picked up here is Condor with Jetstream, and he is 100% complete as well. He's got Jetstream there on the back, and his helmet comes off like that. Similar to uh, Turbo from the Rambo line, actually, because he Turbo had that helmet that came down over his head from his backpack. So there was my lot of Silver Hawks. Pretty cool. Silver Hawks, partly metal, partly real, mighty warriors with the powers to protect space from all evil. Bustle's busting out. Shredder too. Stargazer seen us. Figures with weapon birds sold separately. Slybird, surgery board, Quicksilver, activate power wing, Caliwalk, engage scissor wing. Now take him down. Mumbo Jumbo Airshot. It's hero stomping time. No way. Buzzsaw with Shredder, Quicksilver with Caliwalk. Other figures with weapon birds sold separately. Silver Hawks, new from Kenner. Like, okay. <laughs> find There's that slaughter. You better do it quick. I know. Bye, bye, bye. I might uh, I might be getting some of these rare galoobs. You don't see these every day. No. I went to a show once and they had that um what is it, Big Josh? Yeah, yeah. I've seen it once. Yeah. It was some show in New Jersey. I never go to shows in New Jersey. Then they, they make, uh, what, D Dustin Rhodes is one yeah, of them. Yeah, they're all from, like, UK or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so who, who's, who's buying WWE, Rick? Who do you think? If I had a guess, NBC. NBC. People are saying Comcast might be up there too. Uh, and be, well, NBC has the network. Right, right. That's right. the reason why they probably don't want to lose it. Um, Tony Khan and his dad can buy it hands down. But... Yeah. They want to. Exactly. Probably not. Like, <laughs> it's a train wreck. Mm -hmm. Dude, as big as AEW is. Dude, Tony Khan's dad is one of the richest people in the world. Like, buying WWE would be nothing to him. Right, right. But, like, it's a train wreck. They're firing people with it. Devon just got let go like yesterday. Eat all of it because he was a producer. Oh, They're saying that he left on his own. They hired but, they hired some or uh, fired some PR guy too, didn't they? Yeah. Adam or something. Yeah, they're just letting people go like crazy again. <laughs> Here, Rick Martell, referee, Axe, Bam Bam, Jake, Monkey, McMahon, Bulldogs. Uh, 
open up Hasbro Rings. And here is actually where I found some cassettes to take home to my music collection. I was not expecting to find a cassette and vinyl dealer at this show, but we got to talking. His name is Damien. Um, he's a local Western PA guy and actually has his own uh, thrash punk band. Um, and it's called White Thrash. There you go there. So I picked his up. You know, I love to support local music. But I also picked up one of my favorite Alice Cooper albums, Raise Your Fist and Yell. Classic, classic 80s Alice Cooper right here. Everybody's big on Pantera right now. Um, of course, I listened to them as a teenager. Here's Far Beyond Driven, one of their classic albums that came after Vulgar Display of Power. I'm thinking about seeing them this summer. Because I don't know when I'll ever be able to see them again. I know there's controversy that if there's only two members or whatnot, but hey, we'll see. Um, and then I got Warlock True as Steel cassette. Again, classic metal. Wrath Child America 3D. Annihilator Alice in Hell. Solid cassette scores right here. Star Wars set you got there. That's cool. <laughs> Thank you. 
How you doing? Said, I, I think I only need TMI. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, Did I, like I said, the, the lion Did dragon. I send you that box one that was like, I think it was like $1,300? Is that what it was? I think it was close. I can't remember, like, maybe it was less because I said it's a nice shape. Yeah. Yeah. Usually you'll see the lunch boxes that in that good shape. shape. No, that's good. I know, <laughs> mine's all yeah, mine is too. But dude, I had it since I was like. <laughs> It means more. I'd rather, have my, I'd rather have my childhood one beat up. Lots of wrestling here at the show. Lots of different eras of wrestling. Mm -hmm. Look at that dude. When have you ever seen a Ring Raiders lunchbox? Wow. <laughs> hey, how you doing? I was admiring your Ring Raiders lunchbox. Oh, you don't see you, you don't see that too often. <laughs> I look for a lot of lunchboxes. Okay. Hi there. How are you? Shogun. I need a blue popple. Blue popple? I need a blue popple. That's, that's what I had as a kid. Well, dude, that's... It's you and me then. Quite the finish. That's it. <laughs> well, what now, time did they start to launch it? Now, with all that military it. training. <laughs> yeah. Just kick me in the groin. Let me done. <laughs> <laughs> we were discussing a future fight over a blue popple. <laughs> I mean, I want to be there for it. Just give me your phone, I'll record yeah. it. <laughs> Needs to have That's right. To be, be a celebrity death. There we go. <laughs> I'd be dead. Got some Pantera playing in the background. Dude, walk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then believe it or not, I was actually able to find some wrestling figures that I needed for the collection. I got all of these from d and &E Collectibles. First up, I got Gagne's Raiders from the AWA line from like 86, I believe. They are nearly complete other than missing one headband here. Um, this is, yeah, this is the Kurt Hennig figure, otherwise known as Mr. Perfect. He doesn't have his headband though. Um, and then this is Greg Gagne himself. Um, cool tag team back in the day, obviously very early in Kurt, Kurt Hennig's career. Mr. Perfect was always one of my favorite wrestlers back in the day. So to have this early version of him in Gagne's Raiders is very cool. I was also able to find some UK exclusive Series 2 WCW Galoob figures that DNE had. First up is the second version of Lex Luger in his black and silver robe. Again, these figures are pretty hard to come by, I guess, unless you're in the UK. <laughs> but um, I never expected to find these UK exclusives at this show. And I also found the Fabulous Freebirds, one of the most iconic tag teams of all time. The fact that these were only released in the UK I think is kind of odd, because they were a super hyped tag team back in uh, the 80s and, and early 90s. So this is Michael P.S. Hayes, who has been with WWE for years now as a creative consultant and producer, and then we have course Jimmy Garvin here. Now these glue figures, they obviously are just hunks of plastic. They don't move similar to uh, the LJN style but on a smaller scale and a harder plastic. Um, I think that's why the WWF Hasbro figures have much more allure to our collecting bones. Um, and let's face it, I think a lot of people watched WWF more than WCW anyway, but I, I, liked, I liked both of them, and uh, I was really excited to find these UK exclusives. It's very warm in here. Look at him wheeling and dealing over there. Well, I know, dude. Mm -hmm. Scheming. <laughs> He's got the Wayfair and everything. We got VHS script What's here. Up, man? Morning. How are you? Good, and you? Pretty good. Toy show season's kicking off. Um, Hey, hey, morning, how are you? Love the color forms. The, yeah. Like the colors are just and the, awesome. Yeah, Toxic Crusaders are pretty mm -hmm. kind of cool one, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> there wasn't much to it. I mean, it's complete, I guess. But it was just like the sticker sheet and the board, and that's pretty right. much it. You know? Exactly. I, mean, I remember having. It's just the colors them. pop so yeah. so good. Oh yeah, for sure. Especially now, it's like the fluorescent color, like the Toxic. That's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Toxic Crusader figure lines holding nice too. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. 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 yeah, they've definitely increased in value over the last yeah. five years or so.
Morning, how you doing? Good, and yourself? Real good. Just gonna put all your stuff on YouTube later. <laughs> oh, I love the, no the knockoff guys. Yeah, yeah. I think I've got him in a, an atom bomb. Yep, he's in there somewhere too. Yeah. I think they might have made like one or two more, I'm not sure. Okay. But. I remember I seen, uh, what do you call it, the uh, Starship Troopers. Excuse me. You get anything else? Yeah. Yep. I also found a couple Visionaries figures, again, not really expecting to find, 100% complete. Here is Kravex here, black and red, and then he has his shield here, I don't know if you can see that or not, and then his weapon and his helmet. Now I frequently see Visionaries figures at shows, but they're often incomplete. And with tiny accessories and helmets, I just rather pick them up complete when I can find them. And then I got Dark Storm as well. The holograms are in pretty good shape on these figures. I'm happy about that. Again, often the stickers are blackened at this point from damage or not even there. So. Uh, happy to find these two Visionaries figures 100% complete to add to the collection. And then my buddy Chad found this for me. This is a advanced Dungeons and Dragons figure that they released. Again, not really the typical LJN style, but this is more of a hard plastic mold, so she'll fit in nicely. And then my buddy Rob actually just gave me this Radio Shack robot. Um, I kind of like these oddball late 80s, early 90s robots that came out at Radio Shack, not really affiliated with any sort of franchise or toy line. Um, and he really didn't care to keep it, so he ended up giving it to me. Um, so thank you, Rob. Either. How you doing? Good, good. How are you? Doing? Good. Good. Hey, how you doing? I'm pretty good. Yourself? Real good. Real good. Thank you.
All right, guys, so we are out in the car right after the Butler Area Toy Show and a nice lunch at Ponderosa, of course. <laughs> we, we, I don't know if any of you out there remember Ponderosa Steakhouse that has the buffet and all that stuff. Well, we still actually have one in this area. It's uh, kind of surprising, but it's vintage, like us. <laughs> Definitely becoming vintage, guys. Yeah. Right. Come get it good. A deal just right. Ponderosa's Grand Buffet, just $4.99. We'll satisfy your appetite. We got your tacos, rolls, your green charlie, your pasta bar, Lamar, and great appetizers, Gene. All just $4.99 for a limited time. Come and get it at Ponderosa. And for a juicy steak, Jake, our new extra cut ribeye and Grand Buffet is just $5.99. Unbelievable. Come and get it at Ponderosa. That's the deal, Camille. During the video, of course, I spliced in. You saw what I picked up. Um, vision, uh, visionaries, Silver Hawks, Silver Hawks um, WCW Galoob figures. Um, it turned out to be a really, really awesome show uh, for as small as it is. Um, lots of vintage vendors, familiar faces. And uh, before we, we departed here, I thought uh, Chad would go ahead and show what he found as well because he, he got some really good stuff. So what would you find, Chad? So first off, I got a bronze dragon um, from Dungeons of the Dragons, Dungeons mm -hmm. and Dragons, nice. from the LJN line. Um, it's 100% complete. Um, I picked up from a very nice gentleman. Um, I picked up this newer Transformer. Mm -hmm. um, his name was Joe, I believe. I think it was. He said he was on Instagram. Yes. 33 collectibles something like that I believe. yeah he's a big fan of the channel and of chad's collection so it was kind of cool to see uh, see joe there and get to talk with him as well very nice guy um i picked up some i picked up some earthworm gym figures from my buddy turtle rob oh yeah yep um rob's a something else i got from rob which that guy finds stuff. I don't know how he does it, but he finds stuff. I don't know if you guys know what this is, but it is Pegasus from Clash of the Titans, the old Mattel line. Mm -hmm. It's quite valuable. It really hooked me up with that. And did that only come in a two-pack? Uh, no. It, it came single-carded, too? Yes, it did. Okay. Yes. All right. um, he also got me a Trobit mm -hmm. from Blackstar. And our other buddy, Rob, there's a lot of Robs going around. Yeah. <laughs> he got me this Dungeons and Dragons. Now this is one of the TSR figures. This is a non-posable, mm -hmm. just rubber figure, but it's pretty neat. Now, from our buddy, Mark Ryan, I got this Photon set. That is so cool. He really hooked it up with that. I Bo was Bodie Lee versus Warrior. <laughs> Good job, man. That's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> but it is very nice. The bubble's a little bit yellowed, but it is in very nice shape. Nice to still be able to find this stuff. And then from our- well, And what's cool too is that, so Chad found that in the box and I'm actually buying his two loose figures yes so he really got it for a lot less than what he actually paid for it <laughs> so. yeah it turned out good yeah now the last thing that i got i got off of our buddy chris he is on instagram at vhs crypt vhs crypt i'm sure viewers of the channel if you follow toy guys on instagram and and do sales on instagram vhs crypt is is really up there he does a lot of toy sales um well i got this off of him and it's quite a strange thing but we definitely don't have things like this now but it is a dungeons and dragons wood burning set <laughs> yep they allowed us to burn they did allow us to burn when we were kids <laughs> Now you need an amber alert for something like that. Oh, I know, I know. So, but anyway, uh, it's pretty cool. It has a lot of the old characters uh, from the game, um, but- uh, That's neat. So that was my pickups, guys. Yeah, Chad had an excellent haul. And again, it was um, a smaller show, 
I'd never been there before. Have you been to one before? I have. I missed the last one that they did. Okay. Okay. So this was only like their what second or third? This, I I think it was just their second. Just their second show. Yeah. Okay. Um, but it, it's looking good. Well, it, as you saw in the video, lots of cool vendors, lots of vintage stuff um, for such a, a small lot more show. vintage than I thought there would be. Same. I Same. was expecting, you know, more modern. Now there was a good bit of modern. Mm -hmm. and There was, you know, a lot of wrestlers and. Stuff like that, but uh, there was a good amount of vintage there. Yeah, yeah. But um, I, ho I hope it, it's doing, it does well, and it continues to grow because, I mean, we all need more toy shows. Yes, sir. Right. I mean, so um, well, we'll be going yeah to a lot more this year too. That's right. Um, I mean, we got Toy Ohio coming up in February. We've got Columbus Toy Show in March. Toy Palooza. Toy Palooza in April. And I know Toys for the Ages is coming up this summer. Mm -hmm. It'll be here before you know it, really. Um, Might think about doing PowerCon this year. PowerCon? Mm -hmm. I know a lot of guys that are going to be going to that. Right. Right. Where is it this year? It's in Columbus. It's in Columbus. Because it used to be in California, right? I think it was, except for last year. They moved it to, I think, out to Columbus. Okay. Because it was the week before toys of the ages which that's is right. why we didn't go that's right um but i know i know andy is expanding to two days um matt and bobby from dd &E collectibles that host toy palooza their show um is in a new building with a lot more vendors a lot better parking too. yeah better parking so it'll be it'll be a good year for toy hunts that's for sure and i'll eventually get my toy room set up again so i'll show you guys that as well. gotta get on it matt <laughs> i know i know um, but anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed, uh, the Butler area toy show here and, um, let me know if you like picked out anything that you probably would have picked up in the comments or, or anything else you want to say in the comments. So, um, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, Chad appreciates all the love he gets from his Yes, thank videos. you guys. Um, it's definitely like, definitely some of my higher rated videos is, is Chad's collection. So, so full of it. He's just, you know, he's a celebrity now. <laughs> People see Chad walking around and they're like, Chad, I've seen your collection. <laughs> so it's been something else. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Um, so anyway, um, thanks for watching, guys. And keep on hunting. See you next time.